Now that I have General Mills open, I know that I have a buy opportunity on this particular stock because the Explorer told me I did. But what do I do now? Well, first off, I scanned for a MACD buy opportunity. So I could actually come up here into the Metastock Indicator Quick List, grab the MACD, and apply it to my chart. Hit OK here. OK, so now I have the MACD indicator on my chart. Well, I may not know what the MACD is, and I want to learn more about it. So what I can do, and this is one of the best features in Metastock, besides the Power Tools, is actually the Help function. So if I click on Help, it will actually give me a definition of what the MACD is, give me an overview, and walk me through it. Well, that may be great for some people. I may be able to read it and kind of get a definition uh, out of a dictionary of it. But what I may want to do is I'm more of a visual tr learner, okay? So I may want to see how it actually works on my chart. I'll come up here to our expert advisor. Now the expert advisor is the tool that gives us buy and sell signals on the chart. It gives us commentary telling us how to be interpreting what we're seeing on the chart and then taking it to the next level. As you can see here, there's actually quite a number of experts built into the program. Let's actually go ahead and match up the MACD, which is our scan that we did. I'll go ahead and hit attach and close. And you'll now see that I have a buy signal highlighted on my chart. And we get an alert saying the MACD has just crossed above its signal line. This is a bullish signal. Okay, well let's go ahead and look at this just a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to grab one of my drawing tools over here. And we'll see here with my buy signal, and I come down here to my indicator, I had a crossing of the signal line, just like my alert said, and that triggered a buy signal for me. Now if I go back in time, you can see I have crossings, and every time I do, a buy or sell is triggered. Okay. Now what I can do is my next step, I'm going to right click on my chart here, go to expert again, and go to commentary. And the commentary is really where the expert gives you depth of what you're seeing on your chart. It really walks you through what you're seeing and how you should be using that information. Okay. So it gives me more definition on the MACD, tells me exactly what's happening with General Mills and then walks me through more information. So the expert can really give me a full view of what's happening on any particular security. For just a moment, I'd like to show you another expert. I'm going to detach this expert. and I'm going to switch our charting style here to candlesticks for just a moment. And I'll go back into the expert advisor again. Now a lot of people use candlestick charting because it tells a story. And one of the hardest things to do is understand that story. So we have experts built in around candlesticks as well. So if I hit this, it will actually walk me through different candlestick patterns and explain to me how to be using those patterns. Let's just go into our expert commentary on this one for just a moment. And you can see it will do the same type of commentary for me and walk me through what the candlestick patterns mean. So this is part of the expert is also an educational tool to help you understand different charting styles, different indicators, whatever it is you want to do and learn more about, Metastock can help you do that. Okay, but let's jump back to our expert commentary with the MACD. Okay, so now we have the MACD on our chart again. And looking at this, I can say, great, I have a buy signal, but how well has this worked in the past? Because one of the things to realize when you're trading is that different stocks have different personalities.